Shalom Aleichem, a good night of Shabbos, Pashas Vayelech, Tov Shim Pei Gimel. It's a Shabbos Shuva, Shabbos Shuva. There's a famous uh, Chabad uh, Vort that I heard in the name of Reb Shmuel Levitin, the noted Chabad Chosid, who came to America in 1938 after learning in Taim Chet Mimim. As early as 1899, Tafresh Nuntes, and then was sh- sent by the Rebbe Rashab to open up the Beis Medish Lerabonim in Neville, and uh, later was a, was a Rav there, and uh, he was considered the elder Chosid in the time of our Rebbe's leadership. 1950 to 1974 when he passed away. Shereb Shmuel would say the word Shuva, right? It's Shabbos Shuva, Shabbos Shuva, two versions. Shuva is an acronym, is a Rosh Tevis for in Yiddish. Trink, the, the Tuf stands for Trink, although Trink is with a test, not a Tuf, but it sounds similar. Trink. The, sh- the shin stands for spirit, spirit. Spirit is 190 proof, which they drank in Russia. You know, like gasoline. Trink spirit. The vav is for u, which means in Yiddish un. Trink spirit, v. V, the base of chuva is bice, bite. And the hay is, stands for herring. Heading, trink spirit, un bice, heading, drink alcohol and bite herring. What is the connection between that and tshuva? And Shmuel explained the name of older chassidim, probably going back to the Tzemach Tzedek's time and maybe even further, that the way to do tshuva is to say l'chaim, to say l'chaim like a yid, and when you have a lechayim, you have a little herring. When you have a little herring, you have a little kichale. In other words, the tshuva should be animated. The tshuva should not be, there's another Yiddish word, farkvetched. You know what farkvetched means? Somber, down, oi. It's so dark. I've done such sins, it's terrible. We know the sins you've done. We know the sins we've done. We know about the problems. The attitude has to be upbeat. Trink spirit on bias headache. And I was thinking about it. What's the difference between Shabbos Tishuva with a tough or Shabbos Shuva? So simply speaking, the update of the week begins with Shuva Yisrael Adashem Lekecho. So some call it Shabbos Shuva after the first word of the Aftaida. Shuva. And others call it Shabbos Tishuvah because it's during the Aseris you made Tishuva, the ten days of repentance, of returning to Hashem. But on a lighter note, Shuva is the act of returning for sin. Shabbos Tishuva is the act of drinking spirit and, and, and eating, bicing, heading which is the attitude behind the practicality of doing tshuva. It's the spirit, the, the, the message, the ideology of the way we should do tshuva. And that's the addition of Shabbos tshuva to Shabbos shuva. But my friends, the Shabbos is also Vav Tishrei. It's the yard site of the Rebbe's Holy Mother, Rebbe Tzadchana Schneerson. She came from an illustrious family of Rabbonim. Her great, her great grandfather or grandfather was Harav Levot, who wrote the Sefer Kav Noki Alabavich Echosid, yet of the Rebbe Marash. And then her father. The grandfather was Rameir 
Shlomo Yanovsky, father was a Mayor Shlomo Yanovsky, he was a Rav of Nikolayev, and that's why Reb Levick, her husband, the Rebbe's father, Reb Levick Schneerson, after he married, he moved to, to his wife's hometown, which was Nikolayev. And the Rebbe was born actually in Nikolayev. There's much written about Rebbe Tzachana, but I think the most telling part of her life is in her short diary. And there she says the following. She says many things, but this stands out to me. The best time of my life is the time that I've spent here in America with my son. You know, imagine, here is a, a, a woman who herself was educated, came from real Hasidic stock and real rabbinic stock. And her husband was a giant of a man, a Lamdin, a Torah scholar, a Hasid, a Balmakubal, a Kabbalist, someone who had Mesiras Nefesh for Yiddishkeit, for Judaism, and ultimately his life was taken when he was imprisoned in 1939 for being public about Yiddishkeit and standing up to the Russian government, and ultimately in 1944 he passed away. And what does she say? That what's the best part of her life? is those years she spent with her son, with our Rebbe in America. And that's the point that I believe say. It's not only because the last, uh, she came in 1947 and she passed away in 64. It's not only that the last 17 years of her life, 17 gematria, tov, good, were good years because it was peaceful. There were no wars, there was no hunger. It's because she was with her son. And I think on a simple level, when a parent can say, I'm, I live in peace with my child, it's the best part of my life. And to see my child flourish, and to see my child accomplish, and to see him lead and teach thousands and thousands of Yidim, Chabad and not Chabad, that's the best part of my life. And I think the lesson for us as we go into Shabbos, Shuva, Shuva, and we go into Yom Kippur, to the Yom HaKadosh, that we all focus on our relationship with our children. You know, we talk many times about children's relationship with parents. It's also parents' relationship with their children and how they see the children. And with that, we'll be zeicha to the Gula Shleimah, because of Mamish, Mark Simateva, Trink Spirit, on um, base heading, lechayim, lechayim, all the